Greetings. Hello. Good morning. I'm John Smith. Are you Bill Jones? Yes, I am. How are you? Fine, thanks. How is Helen? She's very well, thank you. Good afternoon, Mr. Green. Good evening, Mrs. Brown. How are you this evening? Good night, John. Goodbye, Bill. See you tomorrow. Classroom expressions. Come in, please. Sit down. Stand up, please. Open your book, please. Close your book, please. Don't open your book. Do you understand? Yes, I understand. No, I don't understand. Listen and repeat. Now read, please. That's fine. It's time to begin. Let's begin now. This is lesson one. Identifying objects. What's this? That's a book. Is this your book? No, that's not my book. Whose book is this? That's your book. And what's that? Is that a book? No, it isn't. It's a pencil. Is it yours? Yes, it's mine. Where's the door? There it is. Is this book his? Identifying objects. What are these? Those are books. Where are the books? There they are. These are my pencils. Where are your pens? They're over there. Are these your pens? Yes, they are. Those are mine. These are your books, aren't they? No, they aren't. They're not mine. These are mine, and those are yours. Those aren't your pens, are they? Identifying people by occupation. Who are you? I'm a student. Who is that over there? He's a student too. Is that lady a student? No, she isn't. Those men aren't students either. Am I your teacher? Yes, you are. That man is a teacher, isn't he? Yes, he is. Who are those people? Maybe they're farmers. Aren't they students? I really don't know. Introductions and courtesies. What's your name? My name is Jones. What's your first name? My first name is Bill. How do you spell your last name? Jones. J O N E S. What's your friend's name? His name is John Smith. John and I are old friends. Are you John's brother? No, I'm not. This is Mr. Jones. How do you do? Mrs. Jones, this is Mr. John Smith. Very pleased to meet you. Days and months of the this calendar. The What day is today? Today is Monday. What day was yesterday? Yesterday was Sunday. What day is tomorrow? What month is this? This is January. Last month was December, wasn't it? Yes, it was. What month is next month? I was in the hospital for several weeks. Where were you on Tuesday? You were here in February, weren't you? No, I wasn't. Your friend was here a week ago, wasn't he? Talking about objects. Do you have a book? Yes, I do. You have a radio, don't you? No, I don't. 
I don't have a phonograph either. Does this radio belong to you? Yes, I think it does. How many sisters and brothers do you have? Don't you have my hat? Yes, I have both your hat and your coat. Does John have a yellow pencil? Yes, he does. He has a radio, doesn't he? No, he doesn't have one. He already has a phonograph, but he doesn't have a radio yet. Telling time. What time is it? It's two o'clock. It's a few minutes after two. My watch is fast and your watch is slow. Excuse me, can you tell me the correct time? No, I can't. I don't know what time it is. I don't think it's four o'clock yet. It must be about three thirty. I get up before six o'clock every day. The restaurant doesn't open until seven forty-five. Will you be here at ten o'clock tomorrow? Yes, I will. We'll be on time, won't we? I hope so. Talking about dates. What's the date today? Today is November first, nineteen sixty-three. When were you born? I was born on November first, nineteen thirty-five. Today is my birthday. My sister was born in nineteen thirty-eight. I don't know the exact date. Where were you born? I was born in a little town not far from here. What do you know about the tenth century? I don't know anything about that. Let's talk about something else. Where were you during the month of April last year? I don't remember where I was then. Where will you be next year at this time? Talking about objects and people. What do you want? I want a cup of coffee. What would you like to eat? Please give me a piece of pie. Which one would you like, this one or that one? It doesn't matter to me. I'd like to talk with Mr. Jones or Mr. Smith. I'm sorry, but both of them are busy right now. Wouldn't you like some coffee? I'd rather have some tea if you don't mind. Do you know any of those people? Two or three of them look familiar. All of those people are friends of mine. Which one of those men is Mr. Taylor? Is he the tall man on the left? Talking about languages. Do you speak English? Yes, a little. Does your friend speak English? Yes, he speaks English perfectly. What's his native language? I don't know what his native language is. How many languages do you speak? My friend reads and writes several languages. How well do you know French? He speaks French with an American accent. My parents speak English fluently. Mr. Jones can read French pretty well. Sometimes I make mistakes when I speak English. I have a lot of trouble with pronunciation. How is her accent in French? Talking about activities. What are you doing? I'm reading a book. What's your friend doing? He's studying his lesson. I'm not doing anything right now. Where are you going? I'm going home. What time are you coming back? I'm not sure what time I'm coming back. What are you thinking about? I'm thinking about my lesson. Who are you writing to? I'm writing to a friend of mine in South America. By the way, who are you waiting for? I'm not waiting for anybody. Asking about age. 
How old are you? I'm 21 years old. My brother is not quite 25. Mr. Smith is still in his 50s. I'm two years older than you are. My brother is two years younger than I am. How many are there in your family? There are seven of us all together. My sister is the oldest. I'm the youngest. Guess how old I am. I'd say you're about 23. I was 30 on my last birthday. I'm going to be 61 next Tuesday. Talking about daily activities. What time do you get up every day? I usually wake up early. I get up at 6 o'clock every day. My brother gets up later than I do. After I get dressed, I have breakfast. Usually I have a big breakfast. I have juice, cereal, toast, and coffee for breakfast. I leave the house at 8 a.m. each day. I get to work at 9 o'clock every morning. I work hard all morning. I go out for lunch at about 12.30. I finish working at 5.45 p.m. I eat dinner at about 7 o'clock. Before I eat dinner, I read the newspaper for a while. I usually go to bed at about midnight. Talking about yesterday's activities. What time did you get up yesterday morning? I woke up early and got up at 6 o'clock. My brother got up earlier than I did. Did you get dressed right away? Yes, I got dressed and had breakfast. What kind of breakfast did you have? What time did you get to work yesterday morning? I left the house at 8 o'clock and got to work at 8.30. Did you work all day? Yes, I worked from early morning until late at night. At noon, I had lunch with a friend of mine. I finished working at 5.30 and went home. After dinner, I read a magazine and made some telephone calls. I went to bed at 11.30 p.m. I went to sleep immediately and slept soundly all night. Meeting a friend Where did you go yesterday? I went to see a friend of mine. Did you see Mr. Jones yesterday? I didn't see Mr. Jones, but I saw John Smith. What did you talk about? We talked about a lot of things. I asked him a lot of questions. What did you ask him? I asked him if he spoke English. He said he spoke a little English. Then I asked him if he knew anybody in New York. He said he knew a lot of people there. Finally, I asked him how old he was. He said he would rather not tell his age. He answered almost all of my questions. Talking about last year's activities. What time did you used to get up last year? I used to wake up early and get up at 7 o'clock. I used to set my alarm clock for exactly 7 a.m. I never used to oversleep. I used to get dressed quickly every morning. I always used to leave for work at 8.30. I used to start working at 9 o'clock every day. I used to have lunch every day at the same time. I used to work until nearly 6 o'clock each day. I used to have dinner at 7.30 and go to bed early. My brother and I used to go a lot of places together. We used to go to the movies about once a week. We used to have a lot of interesting friends. My brother used to speak French to me all the time. I always used to ask him a lot of questions. Asking about addresses. Where do you live? I live on Washington Street. What's your address? 
I live at 1203 Washington Street. I'm Mr. Smith's next-door neighbor. You live here in the city, don't you? I'm from out of town. How long have you lived here? I've lived here for five years. He's known me for over ten years. I've spoken English all my life. I've already read that book. Has he studied French very long? Have you had breakfast already? Yes, I had breakfast two hours ago. Asking questions. Where were you yesterday afternoon? I was at home all afternoon. I was writing some letters to friends of mine. What were you doing at about four o'clock yesterday afternoon? I was listening to the radio. What were you doing when I called you on the telephone? When you called me, I was eating dinner. When I saw Mr. Jones, he was talking with John Smith. While you were writing letters, I was reading a book. While we were having breakfast, John was talking on the telephone. Can you guess what I was doing this morning? I can't remember what John was doing yesterday afternoon. I've forgotten what he said his address was. I've forgotten what time he said he had dinner last night. They called us just as we were having dinner. Describing objects. What color is your book? My book has a dark blue cover. How much does that typewriter weigh? It's not too heavy, but I don't know the exact weight. This round table weighs about 45 pounds. What size suitcase do you own? One of my suitcases is small, and the other one is medium size. I like the shape of that table. How long is Jones Boulevard? That street is only two miles long. Will you please measure this window to see how wide it is? This window is just as wide as that one. The walls are three inches thick. This material feels soft. This pencil is longer than that one. Asking people to do things. Would you please tell Mr. Cooper that I'm here? Take these books home with you tonight. Please bring me those magazines. Would you help me lift this heavy box? Please ask John to turn on the light. Put your books down on the table. Get me a hammer from the kitchen, will you? Hang up my coat in the closet, will you please? Please don't bother me now. I'm very busy. Would you mind mailing this letter for me? If you have time, will you call me tomorrow? Please pick up those cups and saucers. Will you do me a favor? Please count the chairs in that room. Please pour this milk into that glass. Getting information and directions. Excuse me, sir. Can you give me some information? Can you tell me where Peach Street is? It's two blocks straight ahead. Which direction is it to the theater? 
Turn right at the next corner. How far is it to the university? It's a long way from here. The school is just around the corner. The restaurant is across the street from the hotel. You can't miss it. Do you happen to know Mr. Cooper's telephone number? Could you tell me where the nearest telephone is? Should I go this way or that way? Go that way for two blocks, then turn left. I beg your pardon, is this seat taken? Talking about family and relatives. Are you married? No, I'm not married. I'm still single. Your niece is engaged, isn't she? My sister has been engaged for two months. My grandfather got married in 1921. When is your grandparents' wedding anniversary? How long have they been married? They've been married for quite a few years. Who did George marry? Do they have children? They had a baby last month. My son wants to get married in June. They don't know when the wedding will be. Their grandchildren are grown up now. She's a widow. Her husband died last year. Talking about neighbors and friends. Where did you grow up? I grew up right here in this neighborhood. My friend spent his childhood in California. He lived in California until he was 17. There have been a lot of changes here in the last 20 years. There used to be a grocery store on the corner. All of those houses have been built in the last 10 years. They're building a new house up the street from me. If you buy that home, will you spend the rest of your life there? Are your neighbors very friendly? We all know each other pretty well. A young married couple moved in next door to us. Who bought that new house down the street from you? An elderly man rented a big white house. What beautiful trees those are. Talking about future activities. What time are you going to get up tomorrow morning? I'll probably wake up early and get up at 6.30. What will you do then? After I get dressed, I'll have breakfast. What will you have for breakfast tomorrow morning? I'll probably have eggs and toast for breakfast. After breakfast, I'll get ready to go to work. I'll leave the house at 8 and get to the office at 8.30. I'll probably go out for lunch at about 12.30. I'll finish working at 5.30 and get home by 6 o'clock. Are you going to have dinner at home tomorrow night? Do you think you'll go to the movies tomorrow night? 
I'll probably stay home and watch television. When I get sleepy, I'll probably get ready for bed. Do you think you'll be able to go to sleep right away? Talking about the weather. How is the weather today? The weather is nice today. What was the weather like yesterday? Yesterday it rained all day. What will the weather be like tomorrow? It's going to snow tomorrow. It's quite cold today. It's been cloudy all morning. Is it raining now? It'll probably clear up this afternoon. The days are getting hotter. Today is the first day of spring. What's the temperature today? It's about 70 degrees Fahrenheit this afternoon. There's a cool breeze this evening. Talking about sickness and health. How are you feeling today? I don't feel very well this morning. I was sick yesterday, but I'm better today. My fever is gone, but I still have a cough. My brother has a bad headache. Which of your arms is sore? My right arm hurts. It hurts right here. What's the matter with you? I've got a pain in my back. Which foot hurts? Is it the left one? How did you break your leg? I slipped on the stairs and fell down. I broke my leg. Your right hand is swollen. Does it hurt? It's bleeding. You better go see a doctor about that cut. I hope you'll be well soon. Talking about daily habits. I get out of bed at about 7 o'clock every morning. After getting up, I go into the bathroom and take a shower. Then I shave, brush my teeth, and comb my hair. After brushing my teeth, I put on my clothes. After that, I go downstairs to the kitchen to have breakfast. After eating breakfast, I go back upstairs again. Then it's usually time to wake up my little brother. He can't dress himself yet because he's too young. I wash his face and hands, and then I dress him. He tries to button his own shirt, but he can't do it. My little brother takes a bath before he goes to bed at night. He always forgets to wash behind his ears. I'm always tired when I come home from work. At bedtime, I take off my clothes and put on my pajamas. I get into bed at about 11.30 and go right off to sleep. Getting other people's opinions and ideas. What do you think? Is that right? Certainly. You're absolutely right about that. I think you're mistaken about that. I like hot weather best. Personally, I prefer winter weather. 
Do you think it's going to rain tomorrow? I don't know whether it will rain or not. In my opinion, that's an excellent idea. Why is Mr. Cooper so tired? Do you have any idea? He's tired because he worked hard all day today. What do you think of my children? I think you have very attractive children. Please give me your frank opinion. Do you really want to know what I think? Of course I want to know what your opinion is. Making plans. What do you plan to do tomorrow? I doubt that I'll do anything tomorrow. Please excuse me for a little while. I want to do something. I imagine I'll do some work instead of going to the movies. Will it be convenient for you to explain your plans to him? There's nothing to do because tomorrow is a holiday. What's your brother planning to do tomorrow? He can't decide what to do. It's difficult to make a decision without knowing all the facts. We're trying to plan our future. That's a good idea. I'm hoping to spend a few days in the mountains. Would you consider going north this summer? If there's a chance you'll go, I'd like to go with you. After you think it over, please let me know what you decide. Making decisions. I'm anxious to know what your decision is. I'm confident you've made the right choice. I want to persuade you to change your mind. Will you accept my advice? What have you decided? I've definitely decided to go to California. He didn't want to say anything to influence my decision. She refuses to make up her mind. I assume you've decided against buying a new car. It took him a long time to make up his mind. You can go whenever you wish. We're willing to accept your plan. He knows it's inconvenient, but he wants to go anyway. According to Mr. Green, this is a complicated problem. She insists that it doesn't make any difference to her. Going places. Are you going to go any place this year? If I have enough money, I'm going to take a trip abroad. How are you going? Are you going by boat? It's faster to go by plane than by boat. What's the quickest way to get there? Altogether, it will take ten days to make the trip. I hope you have a good time on your trip. I'm leaving tomorrow, but I haven't packed my suitcases yet.
I'm going by air. I like flying. My brother took a trip to Mexico. It was a six-hour flight. How many passengers were on the train? His friend was injured in an airplane crash. Would you like to go for a walk? Let's go out to the airport. The plane landed ten minutes ago. Going shopping. I'm going shopping because I need to buy some clothes. If this shirt doesn't fit, may I bring it back later? What size shoes do you wear? That suit looks very good on you. This dress is made of silk, isn't it? I'd like to try on this sweater. I'm interested in buying a new car. What's the price of that electric iron? How much is this rug? Is this toothpaste on sale today? That's a beautiful leather wallet, but it costs too much. How much do I owe you? That will be eighteen dollars and seventy-five cents. Do you have change for a twenty-dollar bill? The clerk helped me find what I wanted. Eating in a restaurant. What would you like to eat? I'd like a bowl of tomato soup, please. The waiter seems to be in a hurry to take our order. Which would you rather have, steak or fish? I want my steak well done. What kinds of vegetables do you have? I'll have mashed potatoes and green beans. Would you please pass the salt? They serve good food in this restaurant. Are you ready for your dessert now? This knife is dirty. Would you bring me a clean one, please? May I have the check, please? You have your choice of three flavors of ice cream. We have vanilla, chocolate, and strawberry. We invited two guests to dinner, but they didn't come. Going out for the evening. How long did the movie last? The feature started at nine o'clock and ended at eleven thirty. They say the new film is an adventure story. A group of us went out to the theater last night. The new play was good and everybody enjoyed it. By the time we got there, the play had already begun. The usher showed us to our seats. The cast of the play included a famous actor. After the play was over, we all wanted to get something to eat. There was a big crowd, and we had difficulty getting a taxi. The restaurant was filled, so we decided to go elsewhere. 
My brother wants to learn how to dance. We don't go dancing very often. Which would you rather do, go dancing or go to a play? I'm not accustomed to going out after dark. Making appointments. I'd like to make an appointment to see Mr. Cooper. Would you like to arrange for a personal interview? Your appointment will be next Thursday at 10 o'clock. I can come any day except Thursday. He wants to change his appointment from Monday to Wednesday. She failed to call the office to cancel her appointment. I'm going to call the employment agency for a job. Please fill in this application form. Are you looking for a permanent position? I'm going to call a plumber to come this afternoon. I couldn't keep the appointment because I was sick. I'm a new employee. I was hired yesterday. Please call before you come. Otherwise, we might not be home. Let's make a date to go shopping next Thursday. Will you please lock the door when you leave? Visiting the doctor. I went to see my doctor for a checkup yesterday. The doctor discovered that I'm a little overweight. He gave me a chest x-ray and took my blood pressure. He told me to take these pills every four hours. Do you think the patient can be cured? They operated on him last night. He needed a blood transfusion. My uncle had a heart attack last year. They had to call in a heart specialist. What did the doctor say? The doctor advised me to get plenty of exercise. The doctor said I look pale. If I want to be healthy, I have to stop smoking cigarettes. The physician said smoking is harmful to my health. It's just a mosquito bite. There's nothing to worry about. Making telephone calls. You're wanted on the telephone. What number should I dial to get the operator? I want to make a long distance call. Pick up the receiver and deposit a coin in the slot. I tried to call Mr. Cooper, but the line was busy. You must have dialed the wrong number. I dialed the right number, but nobody answered. The telephone is ringing. Would you answer it, please? Would you like to leave a message? Who is this? I don't recognize your voice. Would you please tell Mr. Cooper I called? Is this Empire 54093? I have to hang up now. Put the receiver closer to your mouth. I can't hear you. Would you mind calling back sometime tomorrow? 
Writing letters. How long has it been since you've heard from your uncle? When was the last time he wrote you? I can't recall how long it's been. I'm always disappointed when I don't get any mail. I feel guilty because I haven't written her lately. What time is the mail delivered on Saturday? The postman always comes at two o'clock. I wrote to my uncle last night. I couldn't put it off any longer. I enclosed some photographs in my letter. I didn't know whether to send the letter airmail or not. How long does it take for a letter to get to California? Don't forget to put stamps on the letter before you mail it. He went to the post office to mail a letter. I dropped the letter in the mailbox in the corner. How did you sign the letter? Did you write sincerely yours? Telling about past experiences. A strange thing happened to me this morning. I was crossing the street and was almost hit by a car. Fortunately, I jumped back in time to avoid being hit. It was a terrible experience, and I won't forget it. Yesterday was such a beautiful day. We decided to go for a drive. We prepared a picnic lunch and drove down by the river. After a while, we found a shady place under some poplar trees. On the way back home, we had a flat tire. It was after dark when we got back, and we were all tired. I wish you would give me a more detailed description of your trip. Speaking of trips, did I ever tell you about the experience I had? We used to have a lot of fun when we were that age. I can't recall the exact circumstances. I never realized that someday I would be living in New York. We never imagined that John would become a doctor. Asking about furniture and places to live. We're looking for a house to rent for the summer. Are you trying to find a furnished house? This split-level house is for rent. It's a bargain. That house is for sale. It has central heating. We have a few kitchen things and a dining room set. This is an interesting floor plan. Please show me the basement. The roof has leaks in it, and the front steps need to be fixed. We've got to get a bed and a dresser for the bedroom. Does the back door have a lock on it? They've already turned on the electricity. The house is ready. I'm worried about the appearance of the floor. I need to wax it.
If you want a towel, look in the linen closet. What style furniture do you have? Is it traditional? We have drapes for the living room, but we need kitchen curtains. The house needs painting. It's in bad condition. Talking about things to wear. What are you going to wear today? I'm going to wear my blue suit. Is that all right? I have two suits to send to the cleaners. I have some shirts to send to the laundry. You ought to have that coat cleaned and pressed. I've got to get this shirt washed and ironed. All my suits are dirty. I don't have anything to wear. You'd better wear a light jacket. It's chilly today. This dress doesn't fit me anymore. I guess I've outgrown this pair of trousers. These shoes are worn out. They've lasted a long time. I can't fasten this collar button. Why don't you get dressed now? Put on your work clothes. My brother came in, changed his clothes, and went out again. I didn't notice you were wearing your new hat. Discussing different points of view. You have your point of view, and I have mine. You approach it in a different way than I do. I won't argue with you, but I think you're being unfair. That's a liberal point of view. He seems to have a lot of strange ideas. I don't see any point in discussing the question any further. What alternatives do I have? Everyone is entitled to his own opinion. There are always two sides to everything. We have opposite views on this. Please forgive me. I didn't mean to start an argument. I must know your opinion. Do you agree with me? What point are you trying to make? Our views are not so far apart after all. We should be able to resolve our differences. Thinking about possible future activities. If it doesn't rain tomorrow, I think I'll go shopping. There's a possibility we'll go, but it all depends on the weather. If I have time tomorrow, I think I'll get a haircut. I hope I remember to ask the barber not to cut my hair too short. My son wants to be a policeman when he grows up.
If I get my work finished in time, I'll leave for New York Monday. Suppose you couldn't go on the trip. How would you feel? What would you say if I told you I couldn't go with you? If I buy that car, I'll have to borrow some money. If I went with you, I'd have to be back by six o'clock. One of these days, I'd like to take a vacation. As soon as I can, I'm going to change jobs. There's a chance he won't be able to be home for Christmas. We may be able to help you in some way. If you were to attend the banquet, what would you wear? Talking about past possibilities. What would you have done last night if you hadn't had to study? I would have gone on a picnic if it hadn't rained. If you had gotten up earlier, you would have had time for breakfast. If I had had time, I would have called you. Would he have seen you if you hadn't waved to him? If he had only had enough money, he would have bought that house. I wish you had called me back the next day as I had asked you to. If you hadn't slipped and fallen, you wouldn't have broken your leg. If I had known you wanted to go, I would have called you. Had I known you didn't have a key, I wouldn't have locked the door. She would have gone with me, but she didn't have time. If I had asked for directions, I wouldn't have gotten lost. Even if we could have taken a vacation, we might not have wanted to. Everything would have been all right if you hadn't said that. Looking back on it, I wish we hadn't given in so easily. Asking about likes and dislikes. What is it you don't like about winter weather? I don't like it when the weather gets real cold. I can't stand summer weather. The thing I don't like about driving is all the traffic on the road. He doesn't like the idea of going to bed early. I like to play tennis, but I'm not a very good player. I don't like spinach, even though I know it's good for me. I'm afraid you're being too particular about your food. He always finds fault with everything. He doesn't like anything I do or say. You have wonderful taste in clothes. What's your favorite pastime? What did you like best about the movie? I didn't like the taste of the medicine, but I took it anyway. Why do you dislike the medicine so much? Giving advice and opinions. If you want my advice, I don't think you should go. I suggest that you tear up the letter and start over again. 
It's only a suggestion, and you can do what you please. Let me give you a little fatherly advice. If you don't like it, I wish you would say so. Please don't take offense. I only wanted to tell you what I think. In my opinion, the house isn't worth the price they're asking. My feeling is that you ought to stay home tonight. It's none of my business, but I think you ought to work harder. In general, my reaction is favorable. If you don't take my advice, you'll be sorry. I've always tried not to interfere in your affairs. I'm old enough to make up my own mind. Thanks for the advice, but this is something I have to figure out myself. He won't pay attention to anybody. You're just wasting your breath. Asking favors of other people. Would you please hold the door open for me? You're very kind to take the trouble to help me. I wish I could repay you somehow for your kindness. I'm afraid it was a bother for you to do this. It wasn't any bother. I was glad to do it. There's just one last favor I need to ask of you. I'd be happy to help you in any way I can. Would you mind giving me a push? My car has stalled. Would you be so kind as to open this window for me? It's stuck. If there's anything else I can do, please let me know. This is the last time I'll ever ask you to do anything for me. I certainly didn't intend to cause you so much inconvenience. He'll always be indebted to you for what you've done. Could you lend me ten dollars? I left my wallet at home. I'd appreciate it if you would turn out the lights. I'm sleepy. Making preparations to travel. I didn't realize the time had passed so quickly. I've got a lot of things to do before I can leave. For one thing, I've got to drop by the bank to get some money. It'll take almost all my savings to buy the ticket. Oh, I just remembered something. I have to apply for a passport. I almost forgot to have the phone disconnected. It's a good thing you reminded me to take my heavy coat. I never would have thought of it if you hadn't mentioned it. I'll see you off at the airport. They're calling your flight now. You barely have time to make it. You'd better run, or you're going to be left behind.
Don't forget the cable to let us know you arrived safely. I'm sure I've forgotten something, but it's too late now. Do you have anything to declare for customs? You don't have to pay any duty on personal belongings. Countries and nationalities. What's your nationality? Are you American? What part of the world do you come from? I'm an American by birth. I was born in Spain, but I'm a citizen of France. Do you know what the population of Japan is? What's the area of the Congo in square miles? Who is the governor of this state? According to the latest census, our population has increased. Politically, the country is divided into 50 states. The industrial area is centered largely in the north. The country is rich in natural resources. It has mineral deposits. This nation is noted for its economic stability. How old do you have to be to vote in the national elections? Today we celebrate our day of independence. It's a national holiday. My home is in the capital. It's a cosmopolitan city. Geography and land features. Geographically, this country is located in the Southern Hemisphere. It's a beautiful country with many large lakes. This part of the country is very mountainous. The land in this region is dry and parched. Along the northern coast, there are many high cliffs. There are forests here, and lumbering is important. The scenery is beautiful near the Pacific Ocean. This mountain range has many high peaks and deep canyons. What kind of climate do you have? Is it mild? How far is it from the shore of the Atlantic to the mountains? Is the coastal plain good for farming? What's the longest river in the United States? Are most of the lakes located in the north central region? As you travel westward, does the land get higher? The weather is warm and sunny here. Do you get much rain? Schools and education. Children enter school at the age of five, don't they? In elementary school, a child learns to read and write. In secondary school, children get more advanced knowledge. In universities, students train to become teachers and engineers. He went to grade school in New York and high school in Chicago.
In college, I majored in science. What was your major? My sister graduated from high school. Graduation was last night. I'm a graduate of Yale University. I have a Bachelor of Arts degree. If you expect to enter the university, you should apply now. This is my first year of college. I'm a freshman. My uncle is a high school principal. What kind of grades did you make in college? During your first year of college, did you make straight A's? My brother is a member of the faculty. He teaches economics. John has extracurricular activities. He's on the football team. Work and careers. I'm a federal employee. I work for the Department of Labor. What kind of work do you do? Are you a salesman? As soon as I complete my training, I'm going to be a bank teller. John has built up his own business. He owns a hotel. What do you want to be when you grow up? Have you decided yet? I like painting, but I wouldn't want it to be my life's work. Have you ever thought about a career in the medical profession? My uncle was a pilot with the airlines. He just retired. My brother is in the army. He was just promoted to the rank of major. I have a good paying job with excellent hours. My sister worked as a secretary before she got married. George's father is an attorney. He has his own practice. He always takes pride in his work. He's very efficient. Mr. Smith is a politician. He's running for election as governor. After a successful career in business, he was appointed ambassador. Farms and factories. Because of the warm and sunny weather, oranges grow very well here. In this flat country, people grow wheat and corn and raise cattle. The ground around here is stony and not very good for farming. What are the principal farm products in this region? Milk, butter, and cheese are shipped here from the dairy farms. They had to cut down a lot of trees to make room for farms. At this time of the year, farmers plow their fields. On many farms, you'll find cows and chickens. If you have cows, you have to get up early to do the milking. Tractors have revolutionized farming. In the United States, there are many factories for making cloth.
Factories employ both male and female workers. If you work in a factory, you usually have to punch a clock. Is meatpacking a big industry in your country? Is it true that the manufacturing of automobiles is a major industry? Hobbies and interests. My hobby is collecting stamps. Do you have a hobby? I've always thought photography would be an interesting hobby. Some people like horseback riding, but I prefer golfing as a hobby. Do you have any special interests other than your job? Learning foreign languages is just an avocation with me. I find stamp collecting relaxing and it takes my mind off my work. On weekends, I like to get my mind off my work by reading good books. My cousin is a member of a drama club. He seems to enjoy acting. He plays the piano for his own enjoyment. I've gotten interested in hi-fi. I'm building my own equipment. He's not a professional. He plays the piano for the fun of it. I've heard of unusual hobbies, but I've never heard of that one. The trouble with photography is that it's an expensive hobby. That's a rare set of coins. How long did it take you to collect them? I started a new hobby. I got tired of working in the garden. Recreation and sport. Baseball is my favorite sport. What's your favorite? My nephew is a baseball player. He's a catcher. When you played football, what position did you play? We played a game last night. The score was tied six to six. I went to a boxing match last night. It was a good fight. When I was on the track team, I used to run the quarter mile. I like fishing and hunting, but I don't like swimming. My favorite winter sport is skiing. I belong to a ski club. Would you be interested in going to the horse races this afternoon? The hardest thing to learn is to be a good loser. Be a good sport. Play according to the rules of the game. Our family went camping last summer. We had to buy a new tent. This afternoon we went to the gym for a workout. We lifted weights. What do you do for recreation? Do you have a hobby? My muscles are sore from playing baseball. Newspapers and magazines. I sent in a subscription to that magazine. It's put out every week.
If you subscribe to the newspaper, it'll be delivered to your door. I didn't read the whole paper. I just glanced at the headlines. The first chapter of the story is in this issue of the magazine. I haven't seen the latest issue of the magazine. Is it out yet? What's the total circulation of this newspaper? I'm looking for the classified section. Have you seen it? My brother-in-law is a reporter on the New York Times staff. There was an article in today's paper about the election. There wasn't much news in the paper today. How long have you been taking this magazine? Did you read the article about the rescue of the two fishermen? Why don't you put an advertisement in the paper to sell your car? I got four replies to my ad about the bicycle for sale. My son has a newspaper route. He delivers the morning paper. What channel did you watch on television last night? I don't get a good picture on my TV set. There's something wrong. You get good reception on your radio. Please turn the radio up. It's too low. What's on following the news and weather? Do you have a TV guide? You ought to have Bill look at your TV. Maybe he could fix it. We met one of the engineers over at the television station. Where can I plug in the TV? Is this outlet all right? I couldn't hear the program because there was too much static. Your car radio works very well. What kind is it? The next time I buy a TV set, I'm going to buy a portable model. I wonder if this is a local broadcast. You'd get better TV reception if you had an outside antenna. Most amateur radio operators build their own equipment. Station WRC is off the air now. They signed off two hours ago. Music and literature. What's your favorite kind of music? Do you like jazz? He's a composer of serious music. I like his music a lot. We went to a concert last night to hear the symphony orchestra. My brother took lessons on the trumpet for nearly ten years. You play the piano beautifully. How much do you practice every day? I've never heard that piece before. Who wrote it? Have you ever thought about becoming a professional musician? Who is the author of this novel? 
I've never read a more stirring story. Who would you name as the greatest poet of our times? This poetry is realistic. I don't care for it very much. Many great writers were not appreciated fully while they were alive. This is a poem about frontier life in the United States. This writer used vivid descriptions in his writings. How much do you know about the works of Henry Wadsworth Longfellow? <laughs>